Hello and welcome to my review of Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu. This is currently the closest thing we have to a Mortal Kombat type of game in VR, and it is absolutely something special. From the trailers of this game, you might think it's some kind of knockoff version of Blade and Sorcery, but it's way different than that, and in a lot of ways, I actually think it's a better game, and I'll be talking about why. This review will be split up into three sections of graphic, sound, and gameplay. There'll be timestamps in the description so you can skip to any section. First up is graphics. While the graphics here are nothing extraordinary for a VR game, and the textures could be a bit better, especially for the character models, I do think a lot of the stages have some really nice lighting and particle effects. There's also some weather in some of the stages like rain or fog, and it kind of makes you feel like you're in a kung fu movie or even something straight out of Samurai Jack. I also want to mention that Dragon Fist has a built-in cinematic camera mode, which I can't stress enough how awesome this is. This is one of the things that it does better than Blade and Sorcery, and honestly, I wish this was a standard feature in other VR games. It makes my life a lot easier as someone who likes to record and make VR content. Overall, the graphics here are pretty awesome, and I found them to be really immersive. Next up is sound. The sound here is quite good. When you're hitting something, blocking, or kicking, it all sounds thematically appropriate. I also really enjoy the music. It really does remind me of an old school Mortal Kombat or Kung Fu game, and it does get you pumped up and can make these fights pretty intense. The only complaint I really have is some of the special move attacks for a few of the characters can sound a bit lackluster in comparison to others, but I don't think that's a deal breaker. Finally, we have gameplay. So first and foremost, this is an arena fighting game, but it's different than other VR fighting games you may have tried before. This is focused almost entirely in hand-to-hand -hand martial arts type of combat, including physics-based hits, blocks, kicking, and even special moves similar to, again, something like Mortal Kombat. So why do I think this is better than the standard of something like Blade and Sorcery or Creed? One, the AI here is actually quite good for a melee-based VR game, especially in some of the harder difficulties. And from what I heard, the developer of this game actually mo every single AI fight himself, but you end up getting a completely unique feeling fight for the 40-plus encounters that are in this game. Most of them are voice acted as well, so when you're progressing through and start the initial fight, they'll say something like, you will never defeat me, and then they'll actually react to you based on how you're fighting. So if you use your special move, then some of them will say, you don't fight with honor, or something similar. It's just a really cool experience to fight all these characters, each with unique personalities. The second reason I think this is a better game than Blade and Sorcery, at least in some ways, is this has the best hand-to-hand -hand VR combat I think I've ever seen in a VR game. So it does use a kind of physics-based system. The wider and faster you swing your arm, the more damage you're going to do to your opponent. But you just can't wildly swing your arms, you'll end up getting knocked out. You need to block attacks and use similar martial arts stances that you would probably use in your life. I also used to practice Taekwondo, and this is the closest I've come to having to use real strategies that I know how to do in real life in a video game, and that was a really cool experience for me. Every single character in the game also has a unique special move which can give you an advantage during a fight. To build up your chi to use the move, you'll need to block attacks. It's also not just a simple button press, you'll need to use stances and hold your hands in a unique position for each character to use your move. These range from slowing down time to spawning weapons or even an energy ball. As for kicking and jumping, it's done with a button press, but I know the developer does plan to add full body tracking, which will make the combat even better. It also has full support for B-Haptics, which many of you know I use in most of my videos, so if you own one, you can feel location-based hits, and every special move will have a different haptic vibration. I love it when developers add this stuff in, because even though it's not a large portion of the community that owns these types of things, it does add a ton for immersion. Now, there is no multiplayer in the game yet, but I know the developer is interested in possibly adding that in at a later date. In my personal opinion, if multiplayer is done right and you're able to 1v1 someone in a duel, complete with something like full body tracking and even a b-haptic suit, I think this could be on the level of an eSport. We really don't have anything currently like this for VR, a Mortal Kombat-esque, no bars, 1v1 type of multiplayer game where you can kick, punch, and do anything that you can do in real life to another person in order to survive. I know that's something I'd certainly love to watch and maybe even compete in. So if you can't tell from this review, I absolutely adore this game. If you've played Blade and Swords or your Boneworks or any similar kind of fighting game, I think this is something that needs to be experienced. There's also a free demo available on Steam, so you really have no excuse, you can just try it out right now for free. And if multiplayer and full body tracking does get added to this game, I think this could become one of the best VR games available today. Even without it, I think this is really something special. I've been using VR for almost seven and a half years at this point, and this is some of the most fun I've had in VR in a long time. This might not be everyone's cup of 
low-key, but for me, Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu is a 10 out of 10. If you like this review and want to see more, please consider subscribing or giving a like. It really does help out. I also stream VR games on Twitch, and I'm active on TikTok. Alright, that's it.